Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of sodium dihydrogen phosphate. It's a very simple process. Take a look at this table. I've made it. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each element. And that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one. So there's a one at the bottom of sodium. There's also one up at the, at the bottom of phosphorus. So we got one sodium, we got two hydrogens, we got one phosphorus and four oxygen. That's what those subscripts tell us. All right. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. So take a look. Sodium is 22.99, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we're going to write in. So 22.99, hydrogen was 1.01, .01, phosphorus was 30.97 and then oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound here, we're simply gonna multiply this row one across. See how nice and simple this is? For the hydrogen, it's gonna be 2.02. .02. For phosphorus, it's, it is 30.97. And then oxygen is going to be 64. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, all I gotta do is add up all these total masses, right? Nice and simple, so 119.98. And the units there are going to be an AMU, atomic mass units. That's because we're solving for molecular mass. Thanks for watching. I look forward to helping you with more problems. We'll see you in the future.